Namaste world raises. We thought we're gonna make this uh, video by Osho. Man, I am drunk for mm. members only, but no, it doesn't need to be for members only. It was uh, full of wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we would love to share it. Yeah, and it was a blast and a ton of fun. So please yeah. watch the whole video with us because <laughs> trust me, it's worth it. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. And if you have a good time, please hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't yet. Yeah. seems as if you are drunk. <laughs> what is the truth? <laughs> Man, I am drunk. <laughs> drunk on devotion. But not drunk with ordinary alcohol, marijuana, <laughs> hussies, <laughs> opium, <laughs> LSD. <laughs> it's getting loud with the lobs. I grow my own marijuana within me. <laughs> within me. <laughs> no government can interfere into it. <laughs> Sweet. My source of drunkenness is my silence. Yeah. My love. Nice. My centeredness my rootedness into myself. Yes, I walk like a drunkard because I am a drunkard. You have observed truly Once you know the inner serenity, a gap between you and your body arises. A gap between you and your mind arises. that creates 
my bubbly walking. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can be done about it. Right. It is not a medical question. <laughs> it is natural to anyone who is enlightened. Mostly enlightened people die immediately after enlightenment. Mm, it's true. For the simple reason because they cannot manage any connection mm -hmm. with their body and mind. Mm -hmm. It is very rare that somebody goes on living after enlightenment. But one has to compromise. That bobbling is the compromise. <laughs> oh, so he's so good. funny. Oh, that, that was, was for the laugh. Thank you. <clears throat> was Master that? Osho. Right <laughs> that was great. And then what, you know what's funny? Is I told Sabine, I don't know if she remembers this, but a while ago, I said I found an Osho video that he has... Oh, it was that? That was, oh. the, en that was the entrance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't watch any more of that video. <laughs> right? I just watched the entrance. And then she ended up finding it. Right and didn't oh, show him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that entrance is just... Oh, so good. <laughs> it's so good. I and it's just, it. should we make this public? Because it's. We can. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun, I think. <clears throat> that was, um, and it got deep, and I like that, right? So the yeah. saying that comes from the silence, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the stillness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The enlightenment, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, I can relate to the drunkenness. Because mm -hmm. a few weeks back, I just had a phase where I just. I don't know, I just felt drunk, um, mm. literally drunk. Um, I mm. couldn't function properly, and Roger couldn't really, like, I was there, but I was not yeah. there. It's like <laughs> communicating with somebody who's plastered. Right? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't communicate properly, I couldn't mm. walk properly, I had to sit down. Um, but it was, you know, it was not that I drank anything, it was just coming from mm -hmm. awareness awareness was flowing through mm -hmm. if awareness can flow through <laughs> and uh just taking over and the body just then has yeah. yeah you just don't have control in the way you are used to it so mm -hmm. yeah um anyways but also in that in those in that sense when you're getting into some higher you know bliss states you know through practice and meditation and devotion and whatever it is you know there is like the brain is like its own little chemical factory and there's all sorts of mm. chemicals that are created in the in the mind right mm. the dmt <clears throat> from the pineal gland um you know and other other stuff too going on mm. right mm. so yeah so these chemicals they get released and triggered and that's you know part of the process mm. right so yeah i love this one <clears throat> and uh yeah the beginning you know the music is just I don't know, it just reflects Osho's uh, being so well, because it mm -hmm. is all about, you know, like, joy, mm -hmm. maybe. I mean, we haven't listened much to him, but I would say it's about, you know, becoming joyful and energetic. And it was like, it's almost like a Tony Robbins event, yeah. I had to think of, where everybody, you know, mm -hmm. uses voice and 
embody it. Yeah, so. and I also love Osho just because he is so grandiose, right? He puts on a display <laughs> because yeah. he did have his devotees and his followers. And, and then he used that to propel himself and get into the spotlight more, which is why I do see, you know, I'm not comparing him wholeheartedly to Satguru because, of course, there's some glaring differences, but I also love what Satguru is doing too. He's embracing his nature and his mm. plan, mm. you know, not shying away or, you know, being apologetic for it. He's mm. very much about being cool and getting the younger generation to re-embrace their spirituality. So, mm. yeah, I love them both, right? And there's, oh, yeah. there's a place for all sorts of teachings and oh, teachers because there's yeah. All sorts of different mind streams, and we all need different things. So, yeah. so yeah. So if you love Osho as much as we do, <laughs> head on over to Osho International and check out more of his videos. Yeah. Because if we had more time, uh, I would watch more of his stuff. Yeah, no yeah. doubt about it. So thanks so much for joining us for this fantastic, hilarious, and at the same time <laughs> wonderful video by Osho. We love him. Uh, so let us know what you think of this video. If you had a good time with us, let us know in the comments. And remember, the most important thing is to raise yourself. And raise the world. Thank you so much, everyone. And a very special thank you to all our members. We love you. Peace. <laughs>